My name is Christian Greco and I'm director of the Museo Egizio in Turin. Talking about my experience and what led me to be director of this museum, I must say there are two main line, lines in my education that uh, were fundamental to, to achieve the position that I have nowadays. First of all, of course, to go deeper and deeper in the discipline, to develop as a scientist, to develop as a scholar, to try to study as much as I could the ancient Egyptian civilization and become a specialist about it. I specialized on coffins of the first millennium BC and uh, I took part to many uh, archaeological excavations and field expeditions in Egypt. Only knowing the material culture, only knowing the place from where the objects come from, can enable you to work, to create connections, to understand how to put the material culture at center and to study the biography of the objects. Of course, now in the pandemic crisis we are facing, there are new challenges for the museum to be. And I would like you to, to think about some main issues. What is the relationship between digital and material culture? Is there a future where digital can substitute uh, the physical museum? Or can we use the new means that we have nowadays in order to create a new museum? I would say an impossible museum that does not substitute a museum. It's not a surrogate, but try to have different kind of content. In the case of the Museo Gita, for instance, instead of presenting only one coffins, I could put together our coffins that once were found in the same tomb and now they are scattered all over Europe. Or I could bring back the landscape, insert the coffins in the original landscape, in the original architectonical structure they were once staying in. If you think of new professions within museum, as I said, I think specialization is fundamental. In my case was my discipline, Egyptology, but conservation is also fundamental. It's much more specialized. But even here, and I think after the pandemic even, do you think is enough to be a good conservator? Do you think is enough to have a high specialization? Or do you realize that safeguarding the collection is not only about programming, conservation, be active in restoring, but also taking care of the collection in order to achieve the fact that the collection will not be forgotten. So conservation is becoming much more than only doing physical work on the objects. Conservation is also to try a way to communicate, to get in touch with society, to tell stories about the biography of the object so that society is involved, is connected and will never forget the objects. And so, as professionals of the future, what do you think is the key for our success? Uh, we said specialization, but don't you think also that we should become more multidisciplinary? Shouldn't we have at a table sociologists, anthropologists, people who are experts in communication, philosophers that make us understand the role of mankind in society, in nowadays society and in the past. Only if we study society, we can connect the material culture to the society it belongs to. So I do hope that you will have time to stand still and to think and on, not only to analyze how is the situation nowadays, how we can restart and have a renaissance. I'm sure we will have a renaissance of the cultural uh, future in this country and all over the world, but also to think how society will develop towards 2050 and how in order to have the cultural heritage be part of that, we, we must think ahead and try to develop a future for the museum.